you have already play blasted and turned it in. Fantastic. Some of you are still waiting for my instructions, and some of you are still modeling. Regardless of where you're at, it's going to be a five minute little demo, real quick. Um, I want everyone paying attention just in case you miss something. There's a few things I want to make sure you point out. So you're like, oh, I didn't think to do that. So you might want to replay blast it. If you resubmit it, just put a two at the end of it. So instead of for create obj underscore last name, if you resubmit it, put a two behind the second one. Okay? All right. So I've gone over what I'm looking for, but here's the couple steps I want to do. I want to do the combining and the merging again. So I'm going to just lower this so I can see what that says, the, the little Konami code right there. And move this so I can see it so you all can see it. Uh, go up there. Come on. There we go. All right. Here's where I want to point out. Be very careful. Like this piece right up here, right? This is like a little indent slash jet. That's supposed to be all one piece when I merge it. But when I extrude it, I had this like extra little lip right here. So what I need to do is I need to make sure you delete all faces along your cut that you want merged. If you want this to be two separate thrusters, by all means, leave that face there. But if you want that to be connected, I'm gonna have to delete this face and I'm gonna have to delete this face and that face. But Mr. G, it's all crooked. Well, now when I do the, the vertex trick, it's all gonna be kind of merged into one. So if you want them to be like two separate little thrusters, you're gonna have the faces there. If you want them to be uh, together, you're gonna delete the faces so that it becomes hollow. That's number one I wanted to point out before you merged, right? Okay, so you wanna just make sure if they're separated, like this guy, I'm not gonna delete the faces. I'm gonna have two little separate thrusters back here. And once again, I like to say this over and over and over again. You're never done, you're just out of time. Is my slave one perfect? No. But am I meeting all of these requirements? Yes, right? It's all one piece. It starts from a cube. I'm demonstrating my understanding of extruding. I'm definitely clearly manipulating edges and vertexes, and it looks aight, right? So while I'm not 100% happy on this, I, I would like to smooth this out a little bit more. Uh, I think I could do a little bit better job on my wing. Uh, my blasters, yeah, they're okay. My thruster definitely here was last minute, but it's definitely there and enough to demonstrate an A, right? So if I, if I have all of these criteria right here, I'm in good shape, which they do. So it's not perfect, but it's good enough for my class right now. All right, going back to the vertex trick. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to vertex mode. If you're gonna turn it in following long, now's the time to do this. If you're not following long, keep an eye and an ear up here. Even though I see you clicking around, that's fine. Just make sure you check all this stuff. I'm gonna click on one vertex, shift, double click the one right next to it. Gives me that whole line. And remember this really, 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 really crooked part right here, right? Well, this code is going to make it all fall along the X. So I'm going to type right here exactly M-O-V-E space negative X space negative A space zero semicolon. And that X can change to Y or Z if you cut it a different direction. Once again, you can change X to Y or Z if you cut it a different direction. But most of you did X. I'm going to hit enter. And boom, it's nice and flat and flush. All right. Then I'm going to go to object mode. I'm going fast because I covered this yesterday. I'm going to be in object mode. We're going to do this at least three more times. Edit, like three more projects. Edit, duplicate special options. And again, that's an X, Y, Z. So I just make sure my scale is, is the first one is X. I hit duplicate special. Bam. They're all right there. It's all good. Okay. That being said now, now there's two separate pieces. I get to combine them. That's going to be done by mesh combine. They're still not perfectly combined because there's two sets of vertexes here. So to get rid of that, that seam in the middle, which will look weird if I hit three right now, to get rid of that, I go again back to object mode and I choose edit mesh merge. And now it's all one nice little piece. Okay, a couple more things before we turn it in. I might like take this, this edge right here. I got a little crease. 
Maybe I move that down. Try to get rid of that. Make it look less like a, there you go, like a ridge right there. Much better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm liking it a lot better now. All right. Lastly, a couple things. Before you turn it in, it's probably going to look better with the green lines not selected. So I don't see the geometry. The geometry really shows a lot of mistakes, but you can hide a lot of mistakes by making sure it's not green when you turn it in. The other thing is, compared to the real slave one, you're like, oh, man, yeah, that, that thing totally sucks, right? But then if I were to take the image plane and get rid of it, your brain automatically stops comparing it. You're like, oh, that looks pretty sweet, right? Oops, I got one down here, too. I have three image planes. There you go. It's already looking better. Now, the other thing is we haven't done is we haven't colored it. We haven't added any, any texture to it. That'll always come later, and that always adds another value to it. This could totally work in an N64 game, right? Ten years from now, ten years ago, this could totally play. We could totally fly that thing around and shoot spaceships. All right. Uh, I got one little issue down here with the merge. I got another weird little vertex thing happening. I can just kind of correct. So after you merge it, if you see some issues... Feel free to try it to kind of polish it up. Just a little, see whatever you see fit. Better. And it's still there, but whatever. All right, to turn it in. Some people got a little stuck on the turn-in process. That's totally fine. Um, but what you got to do is you got to do three steps. Oops. Sorry. One more. Oop. All right. Um, you've deleted the image plane, so you've deselected it. Now you're going to spin it twice over 120 frames. So make sure, one, that this button right here, that little space says 120. Okay? I'm going to go to frame one. I'm going to press S. Make sure that it's selected. If it's not selected, my doesn't know it's a keyframe. It's frame one, S. Drag it all the way over to the right, 120. Pick a nice angle so I can kind of see, see it. pick the angle where I see it best. Go ahead and E and give it a spin. The trick is to only grab the green wheel. And I'm going to give it one twirl, making sure I only grab the green wheel. Is that one? Yeah. And I'm going to do two. And I'm on a frame 120. I've already moved my slider. I press S. I could also just type in right here 720 or negative 720, and that'll cause it to spin. Once you have the two red lines, keyframe and keyframe, click off of it. And that's how you should turn it in, something like that. Again, it's not perfect. I'm not 100% happy on it, but it's definitely done the requirements. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose Play Blast Options. I'm going to call it 4 underscore create obs underscore last name, 4 underscore create obj underscore last name and I'm going to hit play blast it play blast it I'm going to hide my I'm going to hide my stuff and this is where you go to your server how do you get to the server you should have an alias if you don't have an alias in your any folder window it should say mai3 server go to i3 classes if you've play blast to your desktop which I didn't do Right? Whoa, don't. I almost lost all my data. Hit save. I forgot to hit I forgot to hit my destination. I hit desktop. There it is. For underscore create OBJ for object underscore last name. Save. Play last again. See, even Mr. G makes mistakes. Life is good. I'm gonna close these windows out. And this is what I drag and drop into the file. Not my Maya file. I drag my play blast into for anim submit. Go ahead and drag it into the submit folder and release. You can't open it. Only I can open it. Right? Uh, it's a one-way mailbox, right? You can only put stuff in, you can't take stuff out. I can show it. I'll pop up the list in a second. So you got about five more minutes to do that. If you're not done right now, you got lunch right now. We got flex time next week. On Monday, we're gonna model jack-o'-lanterns. What? 
Yeah, we're going to model jack-o'-lanterns so that we can 3D print them, and then we can paint them and put lights in them and so that they'll be ready for Halloween. So we're going to model the jack-o'-lanterns next Monday and Tuesday, and then we'll move on to character modeling. We'll talk about character modeling next. All right, so go ahead and drag them into the Spit folder and...